Hey, it's Dan here at the Turtle Beach stand again at Gamescom 2015. And today we've got an interview that will be of interest to all the petrol heads out there. It's the community manager from Forza Motorsport 6. So we are showing off Fortune Motorsport 6. It's our latest racing game. It's coming out starting on September 15th, only for Xbox One. Um, we have all of the, the demo experiences that were at E3 earlier in the year, plus three experiences that were, three new cars essentially we're showing off here for Gamescom. Uh, three tracks, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Brands Hatch in the rain, and Sebring, which is at night. So you'll be able to play all seven of those experiences here at Gamescom. It's, it's a great challenge. It's a challenge that we embrace. and. Um, Really, we, we look at ourselves and our, our fans are our most passionate critics, right? They know what they want. They want as many cars as we can get in, as many tracks as we can get in. So that's really kind of been our focus for Forza Motorsport 6. Part of it has been, let's build a ton of cars and let's build a ton of tracks and bring them into the game because that's what people want. And that way we can also tell great stories with Forza Motorsport 6. The more content that we have, the better. So we've got more than 450 cars across 80 different manufacturers. We've got 26 tracks that we've got in the game, including four we just announced this week, including Sonoma, Monza, Circuit of the Americas, and Hockenheim. So uh, it's, an, it's just a massive game. We've got features that people have been asking for for the longest time. Of course, racing fans want to race in the rain. It's a, it's a core part of the real racing world. And finally, we brought it here to Forza Motorsport 6. And you can race at night. Uh, 24 cars online, you know, the, these, things, these things that our fans have been asking for for a long time, we're bringing it to Forza Motorsport 6. Yeah, with rain, it was really important for us to do rain the right way. Uh, it was important uh, to, to do that, we had to study rain. So we went to tracks like uh, Brands Hatch, and we went to the Nurburgring, and we looked at how does rain behave at the Nurburgring? Where are the puddles? Where do things build up and, uh, and make things difficult for drivers? So when you talk about a track like the Nurburgring, we're talking about 400 plus puddles, all individually placed, that we had to do, make sure that if a puddle appears at the Nurburgring at this spot, we're gonna have it in the game as well, because it's, it's really important for us to get it right, to, to uh, if you watch it on TV, it should appear in a Forza game as well. So that includes how rain looks. Um, when you drive in the cockpit view, you see the raindrops moving as the car moves left and right. How it sounds, depending on what, what uh, camera view you're in, it's gonna sound different in cockpit view versus when you're behind the car in third person view. That rain is gonna sound different coming down on top of the car. But probably most importantly is how rain feels. All the puddles in our game are 3D, uh, you know, uh, 3D objects, and they all exhibit hydroplaning. So if you've ever been in a car driving at any sort of speed and you feel your tires give way, there's that moment, moment of panic, like, oh, what happened? We want to make sure that when you're driving in our game, you feel that same way. You feel those, tar those tires give way as soon as you hit a puddle. Um, you feel that moment of panic because that's what a real race car driver feels. So the sound, the look, and the feel all come together to make rain what it is in Forza 6. We do have to serve those two audiences. We have the best racers in the world who come to us and they race with all the assists off and they race against one another and it's clean racing throughout. And, um, we want to make sure that those people are satisfied, but you're right, we have to bring in new fans to our, uh, to our franchise and make sure that they're taken care of as well. And one of the ways we do that is with um, things like assists. Um, we're known for our assists. And when you start the game, if you've never played a Forza game before, you're gonna have all the assists on. Things like assisted braking, traction control, stability management. All those things help a new player get around the track because really, that's all they want to do in the beginning. They just want to get around the track, get to the finish line, and feel like they accomplished something. And that's why those assists assist exist. And that's also why we give pe people the flexibility to turn them on and off how they want. And we reward you for turning them off. So if you turn off traction control, you'll earn a little bit more money than someone who kept it on. 
So there's that idea of, yeah, you can experiment. You can find out the, the assist level that worked for you and hopefully have fun the entire time. I'm really excited about leagues. Now, leagues are something that we're showing off here at Gamescom. And leagues are uh, a multiplayer, a new multiplayer feature that we're debuting with Forza 6. And essentially, it's scheduled events that anybody can take part in. Uh, and regardless of your skill level. So basically the way we've done it is we're dividing people into driver divisions which are based on your skill level. So if you are a new to Forza player, you maybe you haven't played a lot of racing games, you'll have a series of events that you can enter, but you'll be racing against similar types of people. You won't be racing the best racers in the world because you're gonna get beat and you maybe not have a great time. But if I'm, an elite, if I'm an elite racer, if I'm one of the best in the world, I'll see a whole different set of events that were made just for me and the people at my skill level. So we have a ton of flexibility as to the kinds of events we can create and when they're open, how long they're open, what kind of prizes we can offer. Um, it just, it's, it's our attempt to make multiplayer available to everyone.